With the recent news of Pixelmon actually being shut down, a lot of the old download and installation methods and different tutorials that you can find here on YouTube are actually not going to be working quite the same way. So what I'm going to do in this video is actually show you guys how you can continue to download and play Pixelmon after the shutdown. So if you've played Pixelmon in the past, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Pixelmon launcher. It is no longer going to allow you to download Pixelmon. So what you're actually going to need to do is manually install Forge and then add Pixelmon to the mods folder. And then you should be able to start up and play Pixelmon. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's pretty simple, but I figured I'd go ahead and release this video just to sort of help out. Now, all of these links are going to be down in the description. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. And if you go ahead and join my Discord channel, which I'll have a link down in the description as well, there is a written tutorial in the downloads chat over on that discord so you can go ahead and check that out if you missed something and you'd rather read than listen to this video again anyways let's go ahead and get right into it so this is the first link that you're going to need it is a download link to forge so let me just go ahead and download that and it should download fairly quickly now i'm actually going to go ahead and download pixmon as well which is just a media fire link go ahead and download that it's going to take a little bit longer to download because it is quite a bigger file um, so we're going to go ahead and let that go in the background while we install Forge. And then, of course, if you do want to go ahead and download Optifine, I recommend just scrolling down to Minecraft 1.10, uh, Optifine HD Ultra, and just getting the latest version. I don't really, if it's not working for you for some reason, you can download one of these previous versions, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and download this first version. And uh, Pixel 1 is still downloading in the background. Now, what you're actually going to want to do is go ahead and actually, let me let me move this here. So I can go ahead and put Forge here, and we'll leave Pixel on there for now. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and double click on this to go ahead and run it, and it should say Install Client. I'm going to uncheck Mercurius. That's kind of just like a uh, a mod. There you go. There's a description right there. A mod that collects statistics about Minecraft for the creators of Forge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I don't like having stuff like that on my computer but you can just go ahead and click ok and it should automatically download and that's actually all you need to do forge is now installed now in order to actually create a profile in which you can use forge you're going to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher and head on over to launch options now the first thing you're going to need to do is slide this little advanced settings button um, and click OK there, and then go to Add New, and I recommend naming it Pixelmon just so you know which which launch it is, so you know what you're actually doing here. And then you go to Latest Release, and you should be able to find this all the way down at the bottom. Since you already installed Forge, it should be right there. You just select that, Release 1.10.2-Forge. Um, just make sure it's kind of similar to that. Make sure it's version 2185. Um, and then the last thing that you're going to do there, because you don't want to stop there, if you stop right here, it won't actually work. What you need to do is go ahead to these JVM arguments and slide that over so you can edit this text box. And what you're going to want to do is change this number here. This is the only number you're going to change. Change the 1 to either a 2 or a 3. Now this number is basically just representing the amount of RAM that is allocated to your game. So if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM in total on your computer, probably going to want to set that to 2 gigs. If you have anything more than 4 gigs, 3 gigs is probably just fine. And that should be good enough to go ahead and run Pixelmon. Now 2 gigs can actually work pretty well but I just recommend three just because it's a little bit of a safer option so once you've done that just go ahead and click save and then you're gonna want to head back over to this news tab and then you're gonna want to click this little arrow right here and make sure you select the version that you just set up Pixelmon and then click play and that should go ahead and run the game it should open up Minecraft and basically that will create the mods folder that you're gonna need to put Pixelmon in here in a minute now Pixelmon has actually finished downloading for me while we've been waiting um, and I can actually go ahead and I have, I have ad block on, so it's going to make me wait another few seconds because I wasn't paying attention to that. But there we go. We got Minecraft all loaded up. You can go ahead and close that now. And I'm going to go ahead and get Optifine just because it should download pretty quickly there. Um, so we have Optifine uh, phew, replace file. I don't know what's going on there. I must have already had the Pixmon jar on my desktop. And then we'll go ahead and get Optifine there. So we have both of these jars. Now, in order to actually install these, all you have to do is go over to your search bar, type in percent app data percent, open that up, go to the .minecraft folder, go down to this mods folder, which should have been created if you did run Minecraft, and then go ahead and open this up. And then you can just drag Pixelmon and Optifine in there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, the only thing that's left to do is go ahead and open up Minecraft again and go ahead and click play now it should load up it should be working we're gonna go ahead and let it load up here just to make sure and if we did everything correctly we should be able to play pixelmon 
and join the server. So I'm actually going to be joining my own server, which is pokecentral.org, but there are actually quite a few other servers that have remained online after the Pixel One shutdown. Um, but if you do want one that is going to be guaranteed to stay running as long as possible, unless we get shut down by Mojang, then make sure to go ahead and hop on pokecentral.org. There will be an IP down in the description. And here we go. Let's see. It seems like it's loading up all good. We'll go ahead and make this full screen. And there we go. We can see 53 players online. We should be able to join just fine. And this will allow you to play Pixelmon in the latest version um, on a server. Or you can even play in single player or with your friends on your own private server. Anything you want to do, this should go ahead and allow you to do that. So there you go, guys. As you can see, I'm actually on my server. Pixelmon is running fine. Um, not really getting any lag or anything, and the game did not crash. Now, if you don't actually change the amount of RAM that you have allocated to Minecraft, your game will crash. So that is a very important step to go ahead and make sure that you do correctly, just how I showed in this video. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. All you have to do now is pretty much just go into your options and change up your settings the way you like them. And other than that, I think you're pretty much good to go. So if you guys did find this video useful, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video. I will continue uploading Pixelmon content as long as I possibly can. So subscribe to my channel if you're interested in that. And other than that, I don't think there's really anything else to go ahead and do. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.